Hello, my name is Sebastian Lin, and today I want to tell you a bit about the struggle I've had in um, getting um, my NHS electric wheelchair and relative uh, moulded seat. Um, usually I use an electric wheelchair on a day-to-day -day basis. You'll note that as I'm being filmed today, um, I'm in my manual chair. I'm in the manual chair because it's taken my local NHS posture and mobility center over a year to um, sort out um, the equipment I need um, for my new electric wheelchair, including the electric wheelchair itself. Um, this delay, shall we call it, is probably down to general incompetence, but I must admit that the process is quite a long one in any case. My first appointment for a new uh, electric wheelchair and seat mode constituted of an assessment um, and that took place in March. Um, and the first appointment involved you being sat in a beanbag and they inflate it round you and um, contour it round your body to make sure that you're sat in an ergonomic position and a position which is generally good for your posture but also a position that you're comfortable with and that will able to get on with matters of your daily life independently or as independently as possible and without as few uh, additional adaptations as possible. Um, your second appointment involves um, the centre having taken a um, impression or shall we say mould of um, the beanbag shape that you made when you sat in the beanbag that I spoke about uh, and um, then producing this in sponge. Obviously there are still some rough edges to this uh, sponge mould and the uh, staff and general seating experts then cut round you to try and fit it, fit the seat m more to your body and make sure that you are seen more than the seat is seen and that it holds you upright etc because often they have to add things such as uh, side restraints and take things away um, by cutting into the sponge and adding such things as pommels to keep your legs apart. Um, sadly, I thought this second session had gone really well, but on returning for my third appointment, I found that most of the cutouts and add-ons hadn't been um, completed, shall we say, and um, that's because no one had actually um, made um, 
written notes about what needed doing, so they, they forgot about certain elements. Um, but even though my seat had gone um, back twice to the factory for these um, adaptations, adjustments to be put in place, um, it's still not right. And in addition to that, the electric chair that I've been provided with to um, sit the seat in is too high, which means that I can't really engage in the activities I do on a day-to-day -day basis properly. I'm hoping that my local posture and mobility to centre will be able to adapt the chair so that it is lower um, and or so that it does enable me to engage in things I've done in the past and things that I continue to do in my daily routine. Uh, but in case it doesn't, um, I'm hoping that they have a procedure to take it back. But obviously, um, they have um, shelled out a lot of money to a uh, manufacturer or supplier to buy this chair, so I don't know where I stand on that. The sad thing is the chair itself is actually very trendy, and uh, I've actually um, contributed to some of the extras. So, in the payment, so I don't know whether I'll get the money back for that if adaptation can't be made to the seat or the chair itself. But as I said, I can't live with it as it is. So currently it's sat in my garage waiting for someone from the NHS to get back to us as to what next step is. Thank you for listening. Great. Whether that was rambling, so... Fine.